27th annual FME Awards. Blockbuster moments from the past year. Save my face, they didn't predict you talk. With laughs. <laughs> and tears. Oh, oh, he looks like a grandchildren's dummy. The 27th annual FME Awards. Thank you. And this is my favorite time of the year. Everybody loves the FMEs. If you don't, there's something wrong with you. This is where we reward our greatest guests and moments on the show. Yes, it's been quite a busy year. The 27th Annual FME Awards. Go to our first category, Robin. <laughs> our first category is Best Whack Pack Fight. The Whack Pack fights a lot. That's right. And our first nominee, Beetlejuice versus Hank. Ooh. Do that to me, I'll fucking slap your ass, boy. Ronnie. Ain't you saw her? You go flying over there. Where, over there? No, you gonna be going over there. Under that <laughs> no, over there? Go down to that fucking chair over there. <laughs> over there? <laughs> yeah, I'll toss your ass right over there. I know. Toss your little ass. Ooh, good boy. What you saying, Bobby? <laughs> Say to my baby, you faggot. <laughs> Say to my baby, you dick, you talk. Uh, uh, Say to my baby, you dick, you talk. You want it, you want it, Fucking hit you, boy. You all know me, boy. No, you're the I'll boy. Fucking, you're fucking, the boy. I'll fucking kick you down, boy. <laughs> I'll, yeah. I'll, make, I'll make your ass small enough already. Our next nominees in this great category, and that's a tough act to beat. John the Stutterer and Ralph. I want to reiterate <laughs> that you are a a burry faced. Uh, a burry faced, big nose, snaggle tooth lisping douchebag bisexual and and people call KC gay you're gay straight guys don't don't dress like women and they don't and he stopped stuttering and and, and your best friends aren't transvestites and transsexuals John you're mad at your John, and look at Howard you're mad and at and you are and you are a and you are a blood sucking leech who uses Howard. Well, let me ask you a question. Yeah, uh, are you mad? Are you if I'm friends with all these weirdos and faggots, Howard and I are good friends. So how do you explain that, stupid? I'm so honored this year that with the passing of Hank, that Hank is uh, nominated again in this category. Uh, John the Stutterer and Hank. Like most stutterers, when I become enraged, I don't stutter. As as when I as become enraged, as when I become enraged with that ugly queer Ralph, who I want to challenge tomorrow, I want to fight that queer tomorrow. <laughs> uh, I oh, will queer. beat that. I will beat that little ugly, smelly munchkin Look midget. Him, he hasn't stuttered. And I want to fight Ralph tomorrow. All right. You should just stay angry well, all the time. I mean, wanna... if you fought a guy like my height, that would that make you a uh, big, shut up, a you big little... man. Hey, listen. Hey, you stupid listen, son. munchkin. You're you just, stupid. You started with me, yes. You started with uh, me yesterday. Go to hell. You're a you're, wise you're guy. An ass. You're a wise guy, midget. Now, John, you started you're with me, midget. You're, you're you started with me, midget. You're not even if human. You midget, you're not even human. If you were a midget, I'd kill you. You're not even human. You're not even human. You're a dumb midget. bastard. All right, those were great fights, and now it's time wow. to find out who the winner is. Oh. Look who won. Who is it? Uh, this is great. Beetlejuice and Hank. Beetlejuice versus Hank. Oh. For the hallway fight, <laughs> accepting the award is for Beetlejuice, of course, Beetlejuice, and for Hank Claudette, who is Hank's mom. I'd just like to accept this award in Hank's memory. I'm sure he would have been thrilled, even though I think that this is the dumbest looking award I have ever seen in my life. But I know Hank would have loved it. He'd have been really happy to get it. He won it for the best uh, whack pack fight and just want to thank you for it. This is Peter Juice, Rat Pack. I thank you very much, Rat Pack. All right, this is Most Insane <laughs> Guest. Uh, at some point during oh, the year... Oh, dear, Most Insane? People get angry on the show. Our nominees for this year. Mr. T gets mad at Howard for talking about his mother, Mr. T, producer. 
I hurt more people for saying something about my mother. No, I'm not saying now, anything about man, your mother. You want to get a black man to fight and kick your ass? I grew up in a know, black neighborhood. You, you, disrespect, you disrespect his mother. If you make fun you know, of a black man's mother, they get very you know, upset. You know, you, 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 might, you might get killed. Let me tell you something, Howard. Jackie done said it. I already talked about it. Leave it alone. I told you, open the All show. All right, I told so you, we left you know, it alone, but I, I'm trying to interview no, you. No, no, you interview me, we move on to something else. You know, well, we, we, we know mean, about my mother. We, 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 we've been over that, okay? Yeah. Now let's get on with something else, man. Well, I mean, I I, I would know, apologize if I did something wrong. No, but I, I don't did think I, I did. You to apologize? I don't no, ask you to apologize. I don't believe I should. You know, you, know, you don't have to. Yeah. I don't want nobody to apologize. You know. Yeah, right. I don't know. Like if you're I putting said, me on. You know, because, Are you putting me on? No, I'm not putting you on. You know, because yeah. I don't. I, I, you know, if I want apology, I'll beat the shit out you and get apology. Ah. Really? <laughs> Definitely. Wow. Well, that's, that's good. That's good. That is good. He says to me, "Oh, I wasn't really that mad and all he that." But mad. Uh, he was mad. He was mad. All right. Our next nominee is Vinny Favalli. Tells us how great the Cindy Margola show is. This is the insane. He guest got angry. Category. Well, no, this is most insane guest. Oh. You've seen the show, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can. You know, you can barely last oh, through it. Stop. It's very sexy. It's not so a com- funny. Well, it's not a comedy show. Just, what is you know, it? We're not trying to be what funny. Is it, is it a tragedy or a drama? Have you figured out what it is? It's like uh, the Ed Sullivan show for the 2000s. Right. Our right. third nominee, Melissa, who came here to sleep with Little John. Remember Little Tiny John? He looks oh, like yes, 13. Yes, yes, Oh, yes. And then she freaked out when she saw him. I was really freaking. I just thought, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You're, come, come on over here, man. <laughs> He right. looks like a ventriloquist dummy. That's what he looks like. I don't have to do it. Oh, my God. Who's scared? Where, where do we have Dude, to go? Dude, I've had sex with cousins. Where, where, where I can... Can, can we, these guys are going to bring you in? No, 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 I don't want to go back. Hold on a second. I don't, don't want to anyway. see him. You know what? I think he just doesn't want you to feel bad. Come on in. No, 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 no. I don't want to see him. You don't have to. 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 The winner is... Well, it had to be. Had to be. Who is it? Mr. T, Mr. Yeah. T producer. Hey, fool, this is Mr. T, and I got my F and Emmy. I don't think you have one, and you're never going to get one. So I want to thank you, Howard, thank you, Robin, and most importantly, thank my mama for this Emmy. This F and Emmy ain't no ordinary Emmy. You got it, fool? In ceremonies held earlier today, the award for stupidest talent went to Bobby Badfingers. back to the FMEs. Anyway, Robin, it's time for our next award. <laughs> this category is grossest show moment. All right. Well, this, the one I who, hope you're not eating. After a year of gross events, who will win grossest show moment? Our first nominee is Jeff the Vomit Guy. Oh! All right, there it is. Stop. <laughs> stop, stop. <laughs> oh. 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 There he is, Jeff the Vomit Guy. That was a real low point. There's something to compete with it? Yes, uh, number two uh, nominee. This is the guy who ate glass. He's eating the metal part oh, of the bulb. No. Oh, my oh. God. Oh. 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 Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, you're going to eat more? I'm going to eat that the whole thing. That was good enough, dude. No, 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 no. no. i got to eat the rest. Oh. How do you do that? I had a nightmare of this once that I did this. How do you pick a winner? <laughs> Watch me. Uh, here we go. <laughs> winner is Jeff Levy, the vomit guy. Jeff Levy accepting. Vomit is good. Vomit is nice. My mother loves vomit more than sugar and spice. No, just kidding, Ma. She doesn't love vomit more than sugar. I do. She doesn't. Roman showers lives. Emetophilia. Arousal from vomit. Take it from the expert. Jeff the vomit fetishist Levy. This is worst stand-up ever done on this show. There are four nominees. Uh, first nominee is Vin the Retard. Okay, I like to start with a little Jackie-like joke. How can you tell it's an all-gay window replacement company? How? How? The corking guns are under lock and key. 
The uh, Clinton c- campers you fought now, they have a sense of invincibility. I understand that Sox the Cat is going to run for governor of California. All right, our next nominee is Speech Impediment Man. Things are tough, so I went to a sperm bank to sell some sperm, but it came back stamped non-sufficient funds. I um, caught up a sex therapist. I said, how do I spice up my sex life? He said, try getting a partner. I said, Doc, my eyes hurt when I have sex. He said, that's just a pepper spray, Jeff. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. That was speech impediment, man. Our next nominee in worst stand-up is uh, Casey Armstrong. You know what I hate? What? what? Getting oral from mom, and she complains about the taste. Oh. I hate that. Oh. Right. You know what I hate? What? what? When they have to bite your nails right after you take a dump. Ooh. Right. See, that's that. good. That's good. That's good. Perfect. <laughs> and our final nominee is Vinny Mazzio. <laughs> Hi, everybody. This is Kermit the Frog. I hate being green. Why could it be yellow, purple, orange, or blue? Well, if you ate Miss Piggy, you'd be green, too. Linda Blair slept over my house and threw up all over my Miss Piggy sheets. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, is that it? No. All right, keep going. Okay. Oh! That's two minutes. That's 2.05. What? Wait a minute. He just got oh. hit. <laughs> How's he not been locked up? Oh, my goodness. Our winner is <laughs> worst stand-up. Uh, Hold on. Who is it? Uh, Yve. <laughs> there you go. Vinnie Macchio. Oh, I had to believe. Accepting. That was horrible. Vinny Macchio. Hey, it's Vinny Macchio here. I'd like to thank Howard for this FME for the worst stand-up. Of course, I'm in agreement with him. I am the worst stand-up. But I would also like to thank uh, the people at ATI, John Ide, uh, acting teacher, and all the people that are working on the movie Johnny Postal. As you can see, you'll be getting some shirts. And I'd also like to present a word to you, Howard, my hairy cock. I hope you enjoy it. It's a very hairy cock. I'm going to give him a little bit of a trim. Trim my hairy cock. I can squeeze him. See what happens when I squeeze my hairy cock? This uh, category is called Best Battle of Wits. You know, uh, every once in a while on the show, we test people to see how intelligent they are. And a couple of people really distinguish themselves. Our first nominee, and there are three nominees in this category, was when KC went up against high-pitched Eric to see who had more intelligence. You ready? <laughs> yeah. KC. Who directed Citizen Kane? Oh, that's not even fair. What is the answer? Just go ahead and answer it. Uh, that's, uh... I say Citizen Kane. It was directed by who? Citizen Kane. <laughs> by Citizen Kane. Yeah. Well, in a sense, Kane that's right, but I can't give you that. That was a great battle of wits. That's fascinating. Our next battle of wits is between Beetlejuice and Gary the Retard. Beetlejuice, you're first. And here is your question. Spell red. Red? L S T E R. All right, is that your final answer? <laughs> My final answer. All right. That, I think that's close enough, but. No. All right, all right, okay. The judges are saying that's not exactly right. I'm going to go to Gary. Spell red. I E D. That is and one that right. That is wow. correct. He and got Gary it right. Has one. <laughs> Spell red. <laughs> L A D E R. All right, that's wrong. D. Gary, you go. Spell red. I E D. That's correct. All right. Spell red. Spell red? Yeah. L A E D E R D. Close but not right. Go ahead, Gary. I E D. That is correct. Our final in the category Best Battle of Wits for the year 2001. Playboy Playmates take a quiz. Who wrote Huckleberry Finn? Come on. Give I'm like, her a chance. Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it out loud. Don't, Suzanne, no, no, you're getting no, no. a negative. Cheating. I see you cheating. cheating. <laughs> no talking. I'm going to repeat it. Oh. Who, shh, who wrote? I didn't even read the book. Why would I have read the author? <laughs> I pass. I give up. You're saying no? You might as well take a guess. You're still going to get a negative. Who wrote Huckleberry Finn? What author do you know? 
See, this is why we should have the show at night. Early is no good for me. You know, I, I would not know this early in the morning, but I probably know it late at night. Yeah. <laughs> Do I'm you remember early. any author? You might as well give a name. Give a name of any author. Oh, I can't know. think of any author right now. I'm pulling a blank. All right, I'm going to have to give you negative. Oh, but you have to also change the question now. Why? Because yeah. they shared the answer. No, Did you she guys doesn't know. know. She, it doesn't matter. She still doesn't know. No, she. I saw her mouth the answer to her, and she had the right change, answer. She doesn't know. I'm going to change the question. Yes, yeah, please. All right, let me ask you something. All right, wait a second. Who wrote? Who wrote? Huckleberry Finn. I thought you were changing. No, it. I'm keeping it. I'm gonna. I'm backing that you don't know still, even though they gave you the answer. I couldn't hear her. <laughs> oh my God. Take a guess. Alexander something. Alexander what? Alexander something is right. Yay! That was his name, something. I got it. All right, let's find out who the winner is. Okay. I think everyone would agree. Beetlejuice versus oh, Gary the Retard. Absolutely. What is that? There's a war with a nose on it. You know why there's a nose there? Yeah. Why? There's a goat nose. Yeah. What do you mm -hmm. think when you look at that award? Well, I think it over and I say yes. Thank you, Howard. You know, thank you for being a good friend. Maybe I'll see you next year. In ceremonies held earlier today, the award for foulest mouth guest went to Yucko the Clown. What about, are you a pedophile? No. Oh, you're not. No. You big nose, you. <laughs> see, there it goes. It gets all oh. filthy, cocky heave. That's why I came in here. <laughs> because I hate Jews. I hate sand niggas, dish diggers, spicks, fags, whores, Jews, kikes, dykes, spooks, gooks, and commies, and krauts. What a clown. <laughs> and now back to the FMEs. Most annoying guest is uh, another nomination that uh, we love to make because uh, there's so many of them. Our first nominee is Naked Cowboy, Naked Cowboy oh, producer. Oh, he's annoying for sure. There he goes, Naked Cowboy. Well, I started off in Cincinnati playing a song or two. When all my gigs cut early, I didn't know what to do. I tried country rock and even blues. Then I tried my 501 blues. Now I'm the naked cowboy coming to a town near you. All right, naked cowboy, let me talk well, to you. I'm naked the cowboy, naked, naked cowboy. Naked cowboy coming to a town near you. Very nice. Naked cowboy. All right, there he is. Uh, he's certainly annoying. Our next nominee, Johnny Mud Mudman. Girl, if you think you got something to give And you're standing in a cloud of love And just and give it to me No, well, I can see That's why you just part? and give it That's to me That's the best me. part. All right. All right. <clears throat> Our next so most much less annoying when he's not here. My next most annoying guest is Ronnie Woo Woo. Baba, Booey, Jackie, Jackie, Baba, Booey, Baba, Booey, Howard, 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 all right, uh, our next most annoying guest. That, by the way, that went on for like a half hour. I know, he never stopped. And our final nominee is Crazy Alice. Alice, you are a dumb your mama, bitch. Your mom is a Shut bitch. Up. Your mom is you a bitch. You came so from a bitch. Stupid. And your fucking... Oh, it's good. Oh, I'm sorry. Your father's a faggot. I saw him on 40 Second Street. Been on sucking every pants on the father? car. So you, you are... Father, your you mother and your dad is a you whore. Are. And they did not get that much money because they were too ugly like you. Let's see who the winner is. I don't know. Johnny Mudd-Mudd is a Johnny Mudd-Mudd is very annoying. Well, the winner is... Who is it? Johnny mudd mudd oh. You know, it's probably true. He is the most annoying. He thinks he's so talented. Thank you for this tremendous hunk of crap. I really appreciate it. Johnny mudd the mudd man sign off. All right, FM. It doesn't even have my name on it, for God's sakes. How cheap is that? All right, take it easy. We'll see you soon.
In ceremonies held earlier today, the award for best lesbian moment went to Jade and Taylor, the lesbian sisters. Let me see you spank your sister. I, I want to see that if she likes it so much. Go ahead. <laughs> let me let me take a let me take a look at that. Now Jade is getting over Taylor's lap. Oh, I see, or oh, no, she's I just gonna bend her. Oh. oh. <laughs> Scream oh. stuff out while she spanks you. Bad girl. Bad girl. Why are you laughing? You're being punished. I like it. Are you getting excited? Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I love that. that I, I got to tell you, Howard, I was sitting there watching the monitor. Her ass is turning a beautiful shade of crimson. Yeah. <laughs> kind of looks like John's ass after his hemorrhoids. Now back to the FMEs. So now, without further ado, best butt performer, first nominee, Dan DeFarter, craps on the floor. Dan DeFarter, producer. He gets on my nerves. Well, the Dan DeFarter went to the bathroom on the floor by accident. Always, well, several though. Times. He does it several. He's done it several times. <laughs> he's going to the bathroom. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care if he's going to the bathroom. you got to count. It's a contest. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, the guy had an accident. So what? Oh my God! Is it on the floor? Yeah, it's all over the floor. <laughs> it's all, over. all right, uh, the next nominee is Arthur Fartowski, who came in here and messed himself as well. Oh. <laughs> Howard, you gotta see this beads of sweat on his forehead. Uh, I'm not joking. Do it's you not the only stop? place. <laughs> Arthur, I messed myself. You're gonna, you, you're gonna stop just because you messed yourself? I messed myself. So why? So, you, so what are you doing? It's clogged. Oh, you're clogged. Oh. Okay, he's clogged up. Ah, oh. oh, this is a heart. Uh, let's stop the clock at four minutes, 138 farts. He was so close, 217 would have been the record. <laughs> oh, now he's got to get up. <laughs> How are you get Arthur, yeah. are you a little embarrassed right now? I'm real embarrassed right now. <laughs> Did you bring a change of underwear? Uh, no, but I caught it all. <laughs> only, what? You what? A little chunk and I caught it all. Okay. Oh, no. Did you, but you don't have underwear to change into? Uh, no. Arthur, so what are you going to do? Are you going to go in the bathroom and change and just throw out those underwear? Oh, yeah. 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 All right. Well, maybe you want to go uh, that clean yourself. That never happened to him before. Has this ever happened to you before? No, not while I was doing this. Not, not in competition? No. Well, this is, uh, this is a travesty. Oh, a he caught it all? Mom. Yeah, he, he's... There's only a little chunk. All right, oh, that's good. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> hey, our final nominee in this category is uh, a professional, uh, Mr. Methane, who's actually performed in front of royalty. Oh, you're going to put him in a category with mere amateurs? Here's Mr. Methane. <laughs> That's a tough one. That's that a tough one, Mr. 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 Methane. I think it's you missed, seven. Mr. Methane. If I may be so you bold, I think you missed the note. Here, listen to this. Ah ha ha! Mr. Methane, who is such a pro, but you know, you never know who's going to win. Let's see, so many what great performances. What did the judges say? The judges say, <laughs> for his first performance, Dan the Farter makes on the floor. Oh. Dan the Farter <laughs> is here to accept his FME in person. <laughs> Here he comes. There he is, and there's he's holding, he's his, holding FME. his FME. Dan the Farter, everybody. Lo everyone loves him. Good morning. Uh, thank you very much. Dan, I thought you were going to win for your tub performance, but you took it for that performance where you actually just made on the floor and denied it. It was a nice duty. Yeah. Well, go ahead and make your speech. Okay. Uh, can I just put this on here? For Are you getting on your knees? Are you planning to fart uh, your speech? Uh, part of it. Oh, no. All right, go yeah. ahead. Okay. Is he wearing clothes? Uh, <laughs> I have shorts on here. Loose-fitting shorts. Try to act a little excited about your FME. <laughs> I'm more excited than you know. Anyway. <laughs> I'd also like to thank. <laughs> He's on his knee. <laughs> and. <laughs> oh, and I can't forget. You're choking, aren't you? It always comes in a little tight. <laughs> <laughs> and who else would you like to thank? Anyway, oh, I'd like to thank my parents oh. uh, for having me. And uh, yeah, they're proud of you. <laughs> yeah. In ceremonies held earlier today, the award for best celebrity revelation of a sexual nature went to Carmen Electra. So you're still using the vibrator? Oh yeah. You no, are. Wait a oh my god. I yes, constantly. Have to. Really? Yeah. Are you afraid that you are falling in love with your vibrator? I've heard women talk about this. 
and I'm not making a joke mm-hmm, here, mm-hmm. that the vibrator desensitizes you to a man and that the vibrator becomes the only thing that'll really get you off. Are you afraid of that? No. You're not? No. Do you think being with a man, you can still get aroused and, and achieve an orgasm? I know I can. You, you know that for a fact? Yes. And the vibrator... I've when been you're, masturbating for years, Howard. This right. isn't just a new thing. But when you're, when you're with the vibrator, <laughs> do you think about a specific man? I can. I, usually I like to watch pornos You before. do? Oh, that yeah. is so hot. Now back to the FMEs. There's a man who um, is ready to accept his FME. Uh... First, I want to play the tribute. Yes. This is a man who's distinguished himself all year long in terms of comedy on our this show. This is a Lifetime Achievement Award, I think, isn't it? Yeah. What did I call it? You were just saying for this year. This is for a body of work yes. over a number of years on our show. This man competes with no other. Uh, we'll give you a little example of his work. This man's name is Wood Yee. <laughs> I need a yellow girl with an open mouth. <laughs> Say something nice. My nickname is Pogo. Want to jump on my stick? Are your eyes normally that slanted or did you bump into a coffee table? <laughs> That's considered a slur. Woodie, are you okay? Do you have anything you want to say? You look like you're trying to say something. Sunyi and I had rice and sex for breakfast. <laughs> Receiving the honorary FME is Woodie. I'm so aroused. You are so aroused. 